Hello guys, in this video, I'll be talking about the formation of notochord. The formation of notochord is quite a complicated process to understand, but I will try my best to make it easy for you guys to understand. In the previous video, I talked about early embryogenesis and the processes related with it. For example, the cleavage, the blastulation, and the gastrulation. So by now we have already reached a stage on day 16 where we have trilaminar disc with ectoderm, mesoderm and the endoderm well defined. But in this video I would like to start with uh, a previous note in that video. So in that video I talked about the pr uh, formation of the primitive streak. In this video I will also talk about this. Uh, these landmarks certain landmarks which are related because they are related to the formation of notochord now what happens in the primitive streak as i told you there is the migration of cells uh, from quarterly from the tail end towards a point which is called as primitive node so the cells are migrating towards this point called as primitive node or the henson's node now this makes a depression or a kind of a groove in this epiblast layer. Now you can see in this picture also through this uh, depression or through this groove there is the migration of the cells of the epiblast layer towards the hypoblast layer and eventually which turn into the which differentiate into the mesoderm. So this point which is called the Henson's node is an important landmark for uh, the initiation of the development of the notochord what happens next is i'll change to a picture yeah so there are certain structures which we need to also look at so this structure called as oropharyngeal membrane and the clo cloacal membrane what are these membranes these membranes are actually the attachment of the these are the points where the ectoderm and the endoderm are actually attached similarly here the ectoderm and the endoderm are attached this oropharyngeal membrane is towards the cranium side and this cloacal membrane is towards the quadral side this is the primitive tree and this is the primitive node I have a picture where we can understand this process much in a much better manner okay so in this picture we are looking at the top view again and this point this point is the primitive node is the primitive node called as Henson's node also at in this point this layer the upper layer called as epiblast sorry the endoderm layer between the endoderm and sorry the ectoderm between the ectoderm and the endoderm there is a formation of what we call is as notochordal process so the formation of notochordal process takes place at the point below this uh, pr uh, what is called as the primitive node as this is a kind of thickened region which has a lot of migrated cells which have reached here the the there is a kind of formation of process called as notochordal process which take place towards this point after this process is formed between the ectoderm and the endoderm it eventually reaches a point called as where there is another formation taking place called as Procordal plate. So there are two steps taking place. First, there is this formation of the notochordal process, and then there is another step in which this procordal plate is also formed. In the next step, what happens is at this point of uh, at the site at this spot, there is another kind of a depression uh, forming called as primitive pit. You can visualize this uh, process going on in this picture also so in this picture you need to understand that this is just the projection why because 
this double layer is the ectoderm and this process is forming in between the ectoderm and the endoderm so they are just the projection lines which are formed now this uh, this process called as notochordal process we will look uh, uh, on this uh, section in this manner so the section is the sagittal section and we are cutting this in this manner now we'll look at it in this view so we are looking at it in this manner now this formation called as uh, the notochordal process what happens is there is this actually there is this uh, this process is completely opaque at this point of time but after the formation of primary pit which is the depression at the site of the primitive node this pit continues to form a canal in this process in the notochordal process so there is a process of canaliculization which is happening in the notochordal process and this canal splits it into the roof and the floor of the notochordal process what happens next is yeah and you can also see the uh, ectoderm and the endoderm meeting at this point this is called as the oropharyngeal membrane and also the cloacal membrane okay we'll move to the next picture for us to understand what will happen next yes yeah, so at this point of time there is the resorption so we have the roof and the floor the floor is attached to the endoderm so the resorption at this point of time takes place of the floor and the endoderm at the side so say they start disintegrating and this primary primitive pit continues and connects the amniotic cavity with the yolk sac cavity so this integration this is an integration of the floor and the ectoderm uh, provides a connection between the amniotic cavity with the yolk sac cavity and after the disintegration it looks like something like this so this disappears and this forms a canal which connects this uh, what is called as the amniotic cavity with the yolk sac cavity and this canal is called as neurentric canal what happens next is there is the regeneration of the there is the regeneration of the endoderm here and the uh, regeneration of the endoderm and we have the the uh, we have the yeah so what happens the roof is still intact but this this roof starts uh, uh, starts growing laterally to form a notochordal plate so this is the notochordal plate now after this notochordal plate has been formed what happens is um, after the notochordal plate is formed this notochordal plate starts enfolding maybe i have a better picture for this okay this one this notochordal plate uh, after the regeneration of the ectoderm the ectoderm starts regenerating and sorry not the ectoderm i'm really sorry the endoderm starts regenerating and it attaches to the roof which is the notochordal plate now this starts enfolding towards the ectoderm and after some time the enfolding becomes circular and detaches from the endoderm so this circular structure which is formed throughout like throughout this uh, embryo is called as notochord so that was it for the formation 
of no record i hope this video helped you uh, helped you guys to visualize how this process takes place thank you very much